In this problem, we're told 56.5 kilogram hiker starts at an elevation of 1,270 meters and climbs to the top of a 2,660 meter peak. A, what is the hiker's change in potential energy? B, what is the minimum work required of the hiker? And C, can the actual work done be greater than this? Explain. So before we solve it, let's go ahead and draw what's going on. So this right here is gonna be the hill, right? Or the mountain that they're climbing. So let's say this right here is gonna be where the hiker starts. So this is gonna be 1,270 meters. So this right here is gonna be where our hiker starts, right? And then they're gonna climb all the way up to the peak, which we know is 2,660 meters. So this isn't to scale, but it doesn't matter. And so the, uh, the hiker is gonna end here. So this right here is gonna be our drawing. So let's go ahead and solve. So for A, we wanna find the change in potential energy. So we're trying to find uh, delta U essentially. And so in order to find delta U, uh, you gotta know the equation for potential energy. So potential energy is equal to mgy. So m is the mass times g, which is 9.8. And then y is just uh, the height it's currently at. So if you wanna go ahead and solve this, what you're gonna wanna do is, right, we're gonna find the change in it. So if we wanna find the change, we can just do mg y2, right? So this is gonna be the potential energy at the end. And then we just minus the potential energy at the beginning. And so if we do this, right, we take the potential energy at the end minus potential en energy in the beginning, that's going to go ahead, go ahead and give us the change. So essentially, this is delta U. So delta U, right, so the change in potential energy is equal to mg. And so what I'm going to do is just factor out an mg from both of these. So it's just mg times y2 minus y1. And so this right here is going to give you the change in the potential energy, right, and which is, that's what we're trying to find. So if we go ahead and just plug in our values, uh, we know that the mass of the hiker, I didn't write it down, but the mass of the hiker is 56.5 kilograms. And so we just plug it in, so 56.5, and then we multiply that by 9.8, right, which is just G, and then Y2 minus Y1. So the height, right, that's what Y is, so high is 2,660 minus 1,270. So if you go ahead and plug this in your calculator, 56.5 times 9.8, multiplied by 2660 minus 1270. So if you go ahead and do this, you're gonna get delta Y is equal to 769, so 769,643. And so this is gonna be measured in joules. And so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just round this. So I'm just gonna call it 770,000 because it's basically the same thing. All I did was round this to the tens place, right? Or the, ten, or the tens place. And so I'm actually going to convert this to scientific notation too. So if you go ahead and do this, one, two, three, four, five. So this is just the same thing as 7.7 .7 times 10 to the five joules, right? So this right here is going to be the change in the potential energy, right? So this is your answer to A. And so for B, they want to find the minimum work required of the hiker. And so what you need to realize, or something that you should know, is that the change in potential energy is equal to the work. So in this case, the minimum work required of the hiker is the same number. It's just 7.7 .7 times 10 to the 5 joules. So you just need to know that the change in potential energy is equal to the work, right? The minimum work. So this is basically your answer to A and B. So they're the same thing. And then for C, can the actual work done be greater than this? And so uh, the answer to this is yes. And so the reason is because the actual work is almost always going to be greater. And the reason uh, is the reason this is is because uh, things like small forces like air resistance, friction, right? So these forces are going to make it uh, greater. So the actual work can be greater than this. This is just the minimum. So your answer to C is just yes and whatever I just said, right? So the answer is yes. And so these are going to be your answers. And so yeah, hopefully you found this video useful.